Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can upload an image to Firebase Storage. After uploading an image to Firebase Storage, you will get a download URL. So we will use that URL to show a preview of that image in our application. So let's get into the video. Ok guys, let's start building our application. In order to create an Angular project, we need Angular CLI installed. So we need to use this command to install this package, Angular CLI package throughout our local machine. I have already done that. If you haven't done, you can install the Angular CLI using this particular command. So we can create an Angular project using this command ng new and the project name. I am going to name this project as image upload. It will ask for uh, some questions like whether I need the routing or not. I don't need the routing. I'm going with SCSS. Let's wait for this application to be installed. Package has got created successfully. Let's open this particular folder in VS Code using code space dot. And open the integrated terminal. You can Click on the terminal and open a new terminal and let's start the server uh, application using let ng serve and iPhone o for opening this particular application in Chrome. Let's wait for it to compile and open. Okay guys, our application got uh, compiled successfully. Let's go to the app component.html and make some changes. Let's have an input element of a file. And then let's have a change event for this. And find, we'll find this with the on file, file change function. And this will take the uh, event argument. Create this function in component.js. So this event will be of type event from now. Let's have a file. So this file will be getting from the event.target. Console log that uh, console log that file. And let's see. So if you upload an image, yeah, we are keeping the 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 file which you uploaded now. So we need to work with Firebase. Since we are uploading this particular file in the Firebase storage, so we need to install the Firebase package. So let's install it using this command npmi at angular slash file. Okay, guys, the Firebase model installed successfully. In order to work with Firebase, we need uh, these two modules. Let's import these two modules in this imports declaration so so first of all we need to uh, like initialize the firebase module so this angular fire module will have a initialize app function so we need to uh, we need to provide the config with, like credentials let's go to firebase console You see, I have already created two, two, two projects. If you want, you can create a new project by giving a name there. So I already have, I'm going to use this Angular third project. So if you click on the build, you can see the storage. You need to click on the storage. And uh, if you are starting it for the first time, it will ask you as that you need to create a, a new like, new storage. So 
you can see like for now the storage is empty and also need to provide the uh, credentials for this particular project if you go to the settings there you can find the config data you can copy this data and paste it inside uh, environments so this is uh, this is uh, object need to give colon there Let's, let's provide the uh, let's provide the uh, firebase config here you guys that's it like we have initialized our uh, firebase so now what we need to do is whenever there is a change in file we need to upload this file to our firebase storage so how, how we can do that is like first you need to initialize uh, you need to create object for the firebase storage service Fire storage so import that storage import uh, tangle slash file slash compact slash storage service which was provided by the firebase team. so we can use this firebase storage now so let's create a variable uh, let's have a path let's have a path this path will be this point slash and then the file name which you are uploading we will get the file name from this thing from this variable file variable inside this variable we will have the name also so we are using this name so uh, on this firebase storage will have a upload uh, function let's use that function to upload this file so let's uh, let's have a variable called upload and this fire storage has an upload function we can upload the uh, we, can, we need to provide the path as well as the uh, data data in the sense the file which we are which we, need, we are going to upload so path comma the file you guys since this is a promise this is, this is an asynchronous task let's make this as promise let's await it await it and uh, so this will return a yeah, download url so let's uh, let's get the url from this upload task variable wait upload task it will have a ref dot get download url let's console log the uh, url This will return a yeah, download URL. So you can use this. So you can use this download URL anywhere in your application to show a preview or uh, to send, or else you, if you want to show this particular URL in your uh, MySQL or any kind of database, you can use this URL to store. So if you see in the uh, Firebase storage. We have a uh, we have a YT folder inside that YT folder we have uh, this uh, Firebase code.env. This is the URL which we got. Okay, guys, this is how you can upload an image to Firebase and get the download URL. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please please give a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.